Namaste and welcome everyone. The topic we are going to discuss today is How to ace a group discussion What is a group discussion? Group discussion is a systematic and purposeful interactive process. The exchange of ideas and thoughts takes place in a systematic and structured way. It is an important activity in academic, business and administrative spheres. Importance of Group Discussion Group discussion helps us train ourselves to discuss and argue about the given topic. It helps us to express our views on serious subjects in formal situations. It improves our thinking, listening and speaking skills. It also promotes our confidence level. It is an effective tool in problem solving, decision making and personality assessment. Let's discuss the evaluation parameters of a group discussion. The first parameter is content or the subject knowledge. You should be well informed about current events, national and international affairs, burning social topics, topics related to economics, scientific and environmental issues. You should try to give facts, figures and relevant examples while sharing your opinion. The greater your knowledge of the subject, the more enthusiastic and confident you will be during the discussion. Second is analytical skills. After grasping the topic or issue, one should be able to generate ideas as well as organize them to present them well. One must have the ability to analyze facts or information in a systematic way. Third parameter is communication skills. Good communication skills include active listening, clarity of thought and expression, and appropriate language. The flow of language must be smooth. Use simple language and avoid long winding sentences. Appropriateness of language demands that there should be no errors of grammar. Do not use unfamiliar phrases and flowery language. Be precise and also be polite and courteous. The fourth parameter is nonverbal communication. One should have enthusiasm and positive body language, a confident posture, appropriate facial expressions, and meaningful eye contact with the team will create a good impression. The next parameter is team behavior. Your success in a GD depends on how well you play the role of initiator, information seeker, information giver, procedure facilitator, opinion seeker, opinion giver, clarifier, summarizer, social supporter, tension reliever, compromiser, attacker, humorist and dominator. The sixth parameter is clarity of thought and expression. Only when your expressions are clear you can convince your team and the panel. You should not be too loud or too soft. A lively and cheerful voice with appropriate modulations will attract the audience. Proper articulation of words achieved through phonetic accuracy is very essential. Next parameter is leadership skills. There is no appointed leader in a JD. A leader emerges. Assertiveness, emotional stability, objectivity, self-confidence, decision-making, 
discretion, initiative, good communication skills, patience, and adaptability are some of the leadership qualities that are immensely useful in proving oneself as a natural leader in a group discussion. Let's see the do's of participating in a group discussion. Listen to the topic carefully. Put down your thoughts on a paper in a rough outline. Do not sit silently. Participate and speak freely. Initiate the discussion if you know the subject well. Listen to others first if you do not know the subject and then develop your ideas. Maintain eye contact with everyone in the group. Show active listening skills. Keep the topic on track and do not share irrelevant ideas. Some more do's of participating in a group discussion are Support your point with some facts and figures. Be brief. Speak politely and pleasantly. Disagree politely and agree with what is right. Take the opportunity of summarizing the discussion if the group has not reached a conclusion. Let's see the don'ts of participating in a group discussion. Do not initiate the discussion if you do not have sufficient knowledge about the given topic. Do not repeat what has been said. Be attentive and share new ideas. Don't talk irrelevant things and distract the discussion. Do not pose negative body language like touching the nose, leaning back on the chair, knocking the table with a pen, etc. Do not argue and shout during the group discussion. Don't mention the data you are not sure of. Do not commit grammatical errors while talking. And do not interrupt while someone is speaking. If you'll keep all these points in mind, you'll be able to ace a group discussion. Thank you.